Today, in Roblox Brookhaven Roleplay, the OK Queen Ruth Bell travels through time to learn about Maribel's Madrigal's birth to death. Watch till the end to learn about Maribel's life. Want a chance to win some Robux? Every video, I pick a lucky winner. And all you have to do is like, subscribe, turn on the bell, and comment your favorite part of this video. Use our star code OK when buying some Robux. If you want bullies to go away, then use it for good luck. Use our star code OK when buying Robux. Hey, I'm gonna go find my older brother, Georgie. I have something big to ask him. Oh, there he is. Ah, let's go. Georgie, 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 Georgie. Georgie, 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 Georgie. Oh, my little pop star. My beautiful girlfriend, Akairi. <laughs> My smart scientist boyfriend, Georgie, Georgie of the jungle. Oh, my cute little sweetie plums. Hee <laughs> my tall, manly man. You're so cute. Hey, <laughs> how are you? How are you? How are you? No, none of you. Huh? <gasps> <gasps> oh, what is this? What are you doing here? See my older brother Georgie flirt with his girlfriend Ikari in front of me. Uh, anyways, nice to see you again, Ruth Bell. Hi, Ikari. Um, um, what are you doing here, little sis? Oh, yes, I'm glad you asked. I'm here to borrow your time machine again, older brother Georgie. I want to see Maribel Madrigal's birth to death story. Huh? What? No, 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 you mustn't do that. Look, I don't want the multiverse police or the time police to come after us. We've been using the time traveling and multiverse traveling machine too much. Oh, please. No. Please. No. Please. I can't read, please. Georgie, mm, just let her use it. <laughs> yeah, let your cute little sister use it. Oh, uh, fine. Just as once then, you know I can't say no to Ikairi. Yay, thank you. Gee, thanks, Ikairi. You're the best. <laughs> Anytime, Ruth Bell. And anything for my princess, Ikairi. Georgie, stop it. Not even Ruth Bell. Oh, gross. Anyways, thanks, Georgie. I'm going to time travel right now. Bada bing, bada boom. Hopefully you can heal the pain. Oh, thank you, my love. <laughs> it tastes so bad. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. If only I had healing powers like you. Uh, it's okay. Pain is a part of childbirth anyway. I must handle it for our third child. All right. Where is Luisa and Isabella, Augustine? <gasps> oh, Abuela needed Luisa to restore a bridge. It was broken, so she had to help. Oh, I see. That's understandable, I guess. And now, uh, what about Isabella? Well, she had a manicure appointment to do her nails. She said it's important to keep up with her appearances. Uh, okay. Well, then. Ah! Ouch! Ouch! Ah! What's wrong? The baby's coming! The baby's coming! Oh, oh no! No! Ah! A few minutes later. I fainted during your childbirth! Oh, look! Look at our beautiful daughter! <laughs> wow! She is beautiful! Yay! Yeah, yeah. Good job, my love! Oh, this is a miracle! <gasps> it sure is! For someone my age to give birth! Oh, I'm so happy! She's beautiful! What should we name her, Augustine? Huh? How about Augustina? Uh, what? Huh? No? Okay, okay, okay. How about Augustinia? No! Oh, fine. Hey. <laughs> Since her daughter is a miracle, uh, I know. Let's name her Maribel. Oh, I like it. Maribel. Welcome to the world, Maribel. We will love you forever. <laughs> Okay? Aww. Okay, fine. 
Why? I just have to touch the doorknob, right? Yes, go ahead now, Maribel. Come on. Did anything happen? <gasps> what is your gift, young lady? Uh, I don't know. Well, can I have my toy back? Oh, my God! You have no gift? Oh, no, what a first! I can't believe one of my grandchildren has no gift! Oh, no, what should I do? No, how's this happening? Oh, no, is something wrong with me, then? Oh, you are surely a disappointment! How disappointing! your dad. But if I have no gift, what can I do? You can still do many, many things. There's so many people in the world with no gifts, yet they're special and unique. Come on, you just have to work twice as hard. And then, you will shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond! Huh? You're right, mommy. In that case, I can't give up. I will work twice as hard. <laughs> That's my girl. Come here. <laughs> I'll do my best to shine bright like a diamond. build a house that was destroyed in an earthquake. I'm pretty busy the whole of this week, too. Anyways, I gotta go. Maybe you can look after my donkeys? Uh-uh. Bye-bye. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oh, they wanna buy you, Isabella. Do you wanna play with me? I'm bored. <sighs> Mirabelle, you should be grateful. You should be grateful you have no gift. Stop wasting my time since you're so talentless. People like us are so busy. Your presence is such a nuisance. <laughs> at the same time, okay? <laughs> okay! The next day. Okay, Mirabelle, I must tell you this. You are extremely talented. 
without any gifts. You have great leadership without any gifts. Good education without any gifts. And you're super organized without any gifts. Mm, how many times do you have to say I don't have any gifts? Yes, and even though you're born without a gift, you're born with a talent of a leader. Oh, oh is that so? Now, what have you learned the most in college? Um, wow, I did learn a lot of things. I definitely became smarter, but what I learned the most was that even if you have talent, if you don't put any works into it, it's useless. Like me, I may be born without as many great talents as others, but if I put in 10 times the more effort and hard work, then I can try the best to be the best wow. version of myself. I love the life I have been given, and I wouldn't want it any other way. <laughs> That's why I like to hear a good job, Mirabelle. Now. Oh, Bo, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I'm fine. You see, Mirabelle, I'm already in my 80s. That means one day I will pass away. No, no, I don't want you to leave. It's okay. It's part of human nature. But the thing is, Mirabelle, I trust you to be the leader of the house. The leader of the give you the role of the head of the house! Oh, oh my Dora! Are you sure about this abuela? Yes, Mirabelle! I love you so much as my granddaughter and I'm glad my grandchicken like you yes, my little grandchicken like you has opened up your eyes to the world! Uh, what? Grandchicken what? <clears throat> Anyways... Do you accept Mirabelle? Of course! I'll take the responsibility of the family! Wow! Four Town has a new member called Aaron? Uh, I accept! Oh no, I gotta hurry! <laughs> quick, 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 quick! <laughs> I'm here, I'm here! I'm here! Okay, good! Are we ready to start? Yes, Your Honor! Okay, good! Now present your case, uh, Miss... It's Queen! Queen Karen, Your Honor! Okay, Your Honor, I wanna sue this man over here! He had a pet fish that was drowning. And he didn't want to be my bubba boy, even though he said yes. So I want to sue him. On what legal grounds can you really do sue him, Miss Karen? Oh, how dare you? On every ground. I'm the queen. Can't you see? He never said yes to you. In fact, he actually said, no, ma'am, please get off my property. He wants to be mine. Dare you accuse me? Well, do you have evidence? We do. We have a footage of you stalking him, in fact. What? I have a Well, what do you have to say, Miss Karen? Uh, your honor! Please, your honor, you should understand. You have no hair too, right? What? There's no hair, ladies. She's stick together. How dare you speak to me like that? I'm just wearing a cord wig. Miss Mirabelle, you and your client win this case. Really? Yes, that's right. Okay, I'm done. Awoga! Awoga! Okay. Yay, we did it! A few minutes later. Really, thank you so much, Miss Mirabelle. Huh? Oh, it's the man I helped. Yeah, I really want to thank you for helping me and saving my life from that evil Karen. Um, she was so creepy and she was trying so hard to sue me. To be honest, I don't know what's her deal. She keeps wanting to come after me. Maybe she thought she could take advantage of me or something. <laughs> well, don't worry, because my job is to help people anyway. To protect those from injustice. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, you see, even though I look homeless, I'm actually a billionaire in real life. And it's rare to see people like you. So, um, to thank you, um, can I maybe take you out for dinner? Huh? huh? Me? Yeah, if you're comfortable with that is. Oh, oh wow. Uh, okay, sure. Awesome. Anyways, my name is Luca. Luca? That's a nice name. Come on, let's go on a date. <laughs> okay. As we are gathered here with Mirabelle and Luca. Under the name of Potato. Ahem. Now. 
Now go on and read your vows. Uh, okay. I, Luca, take you to be my beloved wife, to have you and to hold you, to honor and to treasure you in good times and bad. I promise to cherish you for the rest of my life. Your turn, Mirabel. I, Mirabel, take you to be my beloved husband, to have you and to hold you in all times of need, to be at your side in sorrow and joy, in sickness and in health for the rest of my life. Good! And now, <clears throat> Luca, do you take Mirabel to be your beloved wife? <laughs> Of course, yes, I do. And Mirabelle, do you take Luca to be your beloved husband? I do. Yay, and now I pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, Luca. Oh, Mirabelle. Oh, Luca. Oh, Mirabelle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you're fine, Mirabel. <laughs> and our babies are beautiful. Oh, yes. I gave birth to twin boy and girl. Luca, what should we name them? I know. Let's name the boy Alberito. Okay. And let's name the girl Alma Jr. After my abuela. Mirabel, we will have a happy life together. We definitely will, Luca. Rock Uncle Bruno's on the treetop. He hides in the walls until the rain stops. Ah, oh, what a wonderful day! Give me the remote! No, give me the remote! I want it! I want to watch Miraculous Lost episode! I want to watch Miraculous movie! It's a showdown between Ladybug and Bowsmoth! No, I want to watch the episode where Cat Floor fights his mom! Memory! Do you think it's okay to fight like this? No! Go now! Oh, fuck! Ah. <sighs> Being a caretaker of kids sure is tiring. Right, my little baby? <laughs> Isn't that right, my little Ruthie? Oh, look at you. You're such a cutie. I love being a house husband. La 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 la. I get to swim all day long. Do, 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 do. Excuse me, Miss Mayor. I brought you some home cooked lunch. Oh, wow. Thank you, Luca, my lovely husband. <laughs> Mirabelle, I know it's important to you being a mayor of Brookhaven, but you must remember to take it easy, okay? I sure will. How are the children? They're fantastic. I bring them to swimming lessons all the time. <laughs> Here. I'm so proud of you, Mirabelle. Abuela would be so happy to see how far you've come. Really? I hope she's glad no matter where she is. I'm glad all my hard work does pay off. And I'm glad I have such an amazing wife. Yippee, yippee. Wait, Luca, what about fetching those children from school? What? I almost forgot I'm going to be late. Oh, I'm going to be late. Uh, Abuela, I hope I've made you proud. 
road. All my children have gone off to uni already, and they all have amazing gifts. I've also worked hard to make Brookhaven RP a better place. And I've also set out a bread on me, which was originated from Adopt Me like you asked me to. I hope you're happy with me, Ampula. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and get this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out our other channels for more roleplay and comedy content.